In this lesson, we're going to learn how to design a cloud icon in Adobe XD. So to start with, I'm working on a 60 by 60 pixel artboard, and we can select this and turn on the grid. The grid is set to one, so every one pixel, there will be a horizontal and vertical guideline. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And the circle is going to be relatively small. And I'm going, then going to go to edit, duplicate, move this over here and hold shift and scale this up. In fact, we can drag over both of these and deselect that fill. And I'm then going to select the smaller circle, go to edit, duplicate again, hold shift and left click and drag it over here so it stays perfectly in line. And I can then go to edit, duplicate again. And I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hold shift, left click and scale from one of the corners. So we have something like this. And I'm also going to select the rectangle tool and draw a horizontal rectangle. Now, if we drag over everything, go to object, align to pixel grid, that just helps everything snap in place and line up at the bottom in particular. And we can drag this rectangle out and then double click the shape and select these top two corners and just make sure that they don't extend outside of the cloud icon. If they do, we can just tuck them in. That's absolutely fine. Now this does look like a mess of different shapes at the moment. However, in Adobe XD, we can combine multiple shapes into a single shape. So we've got the basic outline for our cloud here. You can see that around the edge and we can drag over everything. And from these options in the top left of the property inspector, we can select add and it will combine all of these together into one shape. And you can see it's highlighted here as well. And we can click that and it will do the opposite and ungroup them all. So let's click that again. We'll keep all of those like that. And you can see here, we've got a little bit of an anomaly, but that's fine. We can just zoom in, double click, and just try and adjust that path a little bit. So there we go. Just by moving that circle a little bit, it's just helped smooth out that curve. And we can then drag over everything, give this a border width of two, and then from the color picker, select this same color swatch that we've used in the other lessons, 4A, 4A, 4A. And we can deselect the fill. And because we use this option up here, we can now move this around as one complete shape. And we can scale this up, holding Alt and Shift and scaling from the center. And go to Object, Align to Pixel Grid if we need to. You can see it shuffles it a little bit there and it's kind of nudged this out a bit, but that's okay. We can double click the rectangle and just pull that back in. And the last thing that we're going to add is a little bit of a curve up here just to give the cloud a bit more detail. So let's just left click, left click again. This is all done using the pen tool and it wants to continue that curve we can press escape and then select that same swatch from the color picker. And the last thing we can do is drag over everything, go to object group and move this around now as one object. Now you'll see that our cloud is ever so slightly off of the pixel grid. So we can just drag over everything, go to object group to group it all together. And then we can go up here and adjust the Y value. So let's round that down to 15 and you'll see it aligns to the pixel grid nicely. 